Hey guys, today on the WJ project we're going to be fixing the window regulator on the passenger side. So if you've got a bad one, which is pretty common on the WJs, um, here's how to fix it. Okay, so you probably got a broken window regulator if your window's not going up and down. It's pretty common. So remove the screw here. Just a Phillips. This one here is either going to be a Phillips or this one's a Phillips. Sometimes they're um, a number 25 Torx. Right. And then the rest of it just pops up. Just like that. Alright, that was a little harder than I thought. These guys here, and hopefully you can see that, you pop that tab off, pull the bar up. So you swing this tab out of the way, slide the bar up. One more plug over here. Just like most of them, just pushing the little button and undo it. So you can see all these green tabs here. This one's broke. It's all bent over, so that one wasn't doing anything. That's what's holding the door on, or the door panel on. Alright, so we'll set this off to the side. Okay, so inside this door, I had some wood propped up in here. I'll hold the window up. Get rid of that. And you might have plastic on here, it was already removed. Alright, so here's your handy dandy Chinese made window regulator, complete with motor and everything. Alright, I'm gonna hold this window up. This regulator was already out. Just gonna use a wedge to hold that window up. Alright you guys, you're gonna want to transfer the bottom bolt that goes here and the one on the right and put it in the right one here. And what that's gonna do is correspond to this keyhole here and this keyhole down here. So that way you can set it up in there and get it in uh, without having to, you know, fish for bolt holes and stuff. So we'll do okay, it. so I went ahead and transferred uh, these two bolts onto the new frame. We've got the bolts in here for the motor, ready to go. So it goes like this, orientated like this. It's curved uh, like, the, like the, the door has, the curve of the door. If it doesn't go this way, that would be backwards. So it goes just like this, basically right there. Alright, so I'm going to find that bolt up here. Just right there. So we got to go bottom first, and then top. Side here, it's upside down, but you can see that little clip right there. You need to pull that clip. This one's easier to see here. There's two of these, just pull this clip off. All right, there we go. 
a little clip. There's two of them. Pull those clips. Probably should have just pulled it before I put it in. Okay, so now just lower the glass down. This is the glass here. The glass has this little uh, pin on it right here. A little nub. I need to focus. A little nub. And that nub just locks in there. That's it. That's all that's holding that on there. And then you take this little guy here. And snap it in there. That's it. So you can see in there that that, that little male female and that clip is holding that in there. That's all that's holding the window to the regulator. Okay, you're going to take your, uh, your motor wire swing it around and it just clips in there until it clips all right lock that down so these have a locking mechanism on it you got to kick that up and then you you got to squeeze the, the thing and pull it out so once it's in lock that down sorry it's hard to video and do this at the same time so the previous owner had this door panel on and off quite a few times and uh, three of these were pretty janked up so I grabbed three of these which were actually uh, for a BMW but it looks like they will work fine so I'm going to install these on the door panel and uh, that way it'll have a nice and firm attachment back to the door. Okay it's always a good idea to check to make sure it works before you put the door panel back on does making a little creaky noise but it's working all right door locks are working all right I'm just putting in the last screws here one screw here and the last little trim screw right here. There we go. And that is it, my friends. All of the, uh, the clips are in. windows again sweet hopefully that helped you out on a WJ window regulator install um, if you guys have any tips or comments on maybe how you did it and did it better or easier let me know I'm gonna be doing a lot of projects here on the Jeep I just picked this bad boy up for the sum of $500 um, it does have a little bit of rust but really not too bad it spent most of its life here in Florida um, we're gonna be doing lift kit making bumpers, rock sliders, roof rack, uh, rear organizer, um, and a bunch of other things. So uh, we already went four wheeling it this weekend after about two weeks of working on it. I'm going to go through all the things we had to do to get it on the road in a part one video. Um, this was just kind of an offshoot here with the window regulator. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Like and subscribe and peace out. Catch you at the next one. All right, let's get this cleaned up.